in my first relationship, this gentleman held me, I mean, cuddled me, you know, kissed. How far you allow him is how far you will go. You are supposed to be protecting your interests. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. Where have you been by the way? If you have been with me all this while, well, thank you so much. Okay, I do appreciate you. My name is Betha and I from our faith, relationship, personal development, a lifestyle, and all the positive vibes you can think about. Okay, it's good you clicked on okay this particular video, right? Yeah, as you can tell by today's title, okay, I am going to be talking about sexual purity okay yeah the fact that our sexual purity is our responsibility whether we are married or we are single now what sparked this conversation is that you know i was watching a video one time on youtube okay and then two ladies were discussing about how a lady felt used by a gentleman okay now this video is not to say that the gentleman in quotes did well okay so this is how the story went this lady is with this gentleman and then their relationship in court was not defined okay the girl was literally assuming they went into a relationship meanwhile the guy didn't see it like that okay. the gentleman had his way with this lady okay they were they kissed they fondled you know they did all kinds of things xyz happened okay and now the lady in question wants to blame everything on the gentleman now the, the lady says she's devastated she's you know upset she feel used okay and and what have you right and then she wants to leave that city the guy actually wanted to have intercourse with her and the lady doesn't want to know that okay but she did all the things that you know <laughs> you do before you do the do right <laughs> yeah she did all those things with the guy this is where i want to address it with you guys okay please be sure to also like and leave your comments okay under this video okay yeah <laughs> so this lady you know eventually i mean they broke up they didn't have a relationship okay but the way the situation ended if they parted ways all right now the lady was like i am hurt i feel used okay and that's you know she feels like going out there to go and hurt other gentlemen because of what this guy has done to to her i was very happy about how the ladies okay on the channel handled the issue they were like who, who told you that the guys out there are are okay they are normal they are rough they are going to mishandle you you will even regret okay taking that decision all right <laughs> now let me just say this okay it is good to decide to abstain from sexual activities or intimacy in doing this it is for your own good <laughs> okay so let me share a personal story with you so i didn't have a boyfriend as early as people do all right so i'm like as for me if you want to be in a relationship with me i'm going to set the boundaries for you you can't touch me you can't hold me you can't do xyz to me the only thing i'm going to do is to hold hands ladies and gentlemen in my first relationship i realized that everything i was saying it, it didn't hold water <laughs> basically it didn't hold water what am i saying of course this gentleman held me i mean cuddled me you know kissed my face <laughs> right so I'm just trying to say that, you know, certain things that, you know, we proud ourselves with, okay, perspectives change, okay. Does that also mean that I didn't have boundaries? I think I'm, I'm really going to come to that side, okay. I had boundaries, okay. I had boundaries, okay. That is part of what I'm going to be even saying about, you know, things to do, okay, to ensure that you don't feel cheated, you don't feel used. Now, sin is sin. God said, even if you look at somebody, okay, with your eyes, and then you imagine having intimacy, or you imagine any, you know, you have any mushy mushy feelings, okay, within, okay, in fact, you have already seen. Now, sexual intimacy is not about only when there is a penetration. No, we have to unlearn and relearn, all right, especially Christian girls. We Christian girls, we have to unlearn and relearn. There's a saying that the illiterate of today are not people who cannot read and write, but they are people who cannot unlearn and relearn. Alright? The Bible says once you even look at the person you have that thought in your head, you have already committed sin. When you kiss and when you do all those things, those thoughts come into your mind. And the Bible is saying that when that, those thoughts come into your mind, you have already committed a sin. You are already there. And honestly also, we have to have open conversations about this intimacy thing, okay? Are we going to say that 
having those mushy feelings okay and that usually happens okay sometimes you have that emotions you have that feelings okay but then again self-control is part of the fruit of the spirit I will distract you. now one thing that we must also note is that sexual sin comes with what guilt it comes with a lot of guilt okay that is why this lady was feeling used now, this lady didn't like it yes but then she allowed the guy to do whatever the guy wanted to do to her although they did not have intercourse that is not an excuse okay you are supposed to be protecting your interests in fact and this one it goes both ways but you know the ladies end up you know uh, how do i even put it the, the ladies end up losing at the end of the day so she lost all right so you are supposed to as a lady be protecting your interests you are not supposed to be protecting his interests all right you can look out for each other you can have each other's back okay but you are responsible for yourself all right now the lady was trying to you know protect the boy's interest she was trying to you know keep the boy interested by allowing the boy to have his way man right to have his way around her thinking that that is going to you know make the guy eventually i don't know whether it is to marry or to have whatever i mean she has in her head i don't know but i think she wanted the guy to be interested whereas the actions the guy is showing are clear that the guy is not interested if you are protecting somebody's interest who will protect you your interest in fact let me even say it okay somebody will be saying okay you have heard your right how do i then protect myself okay how do i ensure that this sexual purity i'm talking about i am responsible for it the first thing you have to do number one is to know yourself again my story right i am somebody who is very detached in nature okay <laughs> closeness okay in quotes right it's it makes me uh, all right but I, again i have to unlearn and learn to understand that when you're in a relationship you know the close proximity is going to be you know normal in that sense right so i have to learn in that regard okay but that doesn't mean i didn't have boundaries all right know yourself know what you can accept and what you cannot accept i watched a video where a lady was saying in her relationship she kissed all right but for me i made it clear that we are not going to have you know mouth to mouth kiss because somebody kissed or somebody had intercourse or somebody did something else in their relation doesn't mean that even if they are christians does not impose it on you that you should also go and do same our relationship with god is dynamic okay people have different relationships with, with god how far you allow him is how far you go okay <laughs> yes it's, it's as simple as that the way men are wired is different from the way women are wired okay know yourself all right and know what you can take secondly set boundaries oh my god set boundaries all right now i'm reading a book titled uh oh, i forgot if, if i remember i'll put the title here i'm learning you know mind-blowing stuff there so there was this guy who you know the parents were giving him everything so he was misbehaving they put him in this school he would quit the school and his parents are quick to you know enroll him in another school he was just living life carelessly and then the parents needed help for the boy all right so the person giving them counsel okay as to how to go about the boy you are responsible for an irresponsible human being what do you expect him to be you continue to be responsible so what do you do create boundaries okay you are responsible and then you are rather unhappy he is irresponsible and he is happy so he doesn't have any choice than to continue being irresponsible all right so stop giving him the things you give him so that he can be responsible and when those things are affecting him he would use his senses right <laughs> yeah yeah so i mean when the parent did that it worked okay so set boundaries know that me myself i'm not going to do xyz either i'm not going to have mouth mouth piggy case i'm not going to al allow you know touching of private parts and, and anything that makes you uncomfortable okay set boundaries let the person know how far they can go with you when the person is you know touching you in a place that you feel uncomfortable voice it out to the person no nope, we cannot do this okay you are even teaching the person how to handle you the third thing i would like to say is that you know know what you are getting into if it is friendship let it be friendship if it is relationship know that it is relationship don't turn friendship into relationship without the other person's knowledge 
you are going to feel used. And people, the way people like to enjoy things that you know they are not responsible for, you have no idea. So don't assume anything. All right? Do not assume anything. Now let's go to the next one. The next one is teach people how to you know relate with you. When the person's hand is going where it shouldn't go, direct it to another place. If not, you are also enjoying the thing, you are responsible. Then I will say, do not assume. I think the point I even interlocked. Do not assume that this person will not go this far with you. And then you end up going far with you. And then you come and say the person has used you. No, please. If you sense that you are not comfortable, you see, that's why we have God give us emotions. Okay, when something is going wrong or when something is going overboard, we know. Especially as ladies, we know. Okay, so stop it before you know it gets overboard and then you would say that this person has used me now first of all the point is that you enjoyed it together okay except that you know what you wanted at the end or as a result didn't happen so you end up saying that somebody has used you nobody used you i am not saying this to you know cover up for men right but you see it is what you allow men to do that they do to you now let us also know that relationships automatically do not end in marriage okay that's what happened to this girl and then she was you know all furious and then she's saying she feels like going outside to go and do the same thing to other men outside there so you better advise yourself okay if you're also thinking that you want to also go and behave rough with other people because somebody has be been rough to you so let us have boundaries let us know what we are getting into let us communicate how we want people to treat us please it's very important so that we will not end up saying that these people or this person has used me at the end of the day all right all too soon i've come to the end of this video please be sure to like to share to subscribe to invite others to join my community see you guys in the next one bye you're doing all right you weren't easy so hard to ignore pull up on your right ask what you're drinking ask what you like